including today's slate of games, there's only four days of jam-packed basketball left. So let's get right into our first game of the two games of the night. The 14-8 Peach County Trojans hosted the 13-11 Central Chargers. Last time these teams met, Peach County won by eight. Today, Central began the game on a 14-2 run and would end the first quarter up only four. The second quarter was tight and Peach County would take a one-point lead going into the half off of this buzzer beater three by Tamarius Mathis. And let's get right into crunch time. Central would be up one with just over 10 seconds left in regulation. They would foul Mathis and he would only knock down one of two free throws and would tie the game, but Central gets a look at the game right here but misses it and we head to overtime. In overtime, Mathis and the Trojans completely took over, claiming the victory 79-73. to Mathis and Ja'Cory Brooks combined for 63 of the Trojans' 79 points. And this was the final game of the regular season for both of these teams. Let's get right into our second game of the night as the 14-9 Westside Seminoles hosted the 7-13 Houston County Bears. Last time they met, the Seminoles took an 11-point victory. But tonight was a completely different game as Houston County came out on top, 75-66. to Jalen Jordan led the Bears with 25 points, and Houston County plays their final game of the regular season at home against Dodge County next Friday, while Westside plays their final game tomorrow at Jackson. Here's a few more scores from around Middle Georgia on the girls' side. Central beat Peach County 51-32. Houston County beat Westside 55-39 while Baldwin beat West Lawrence 68-19, and Dodge County beat Southwest 64-28. On the boys' side, Southwest beat Dodge County 59-57, Dublin beat Telfair County 75-50, while FPD beat Mount DeSales Academy 92-40, and Deerfield-Windsor beat Tattnall Square Academy 71-56.